Hey YouTube, we had a couple of questions about how do you separate your distribution or DB um, from your mains and your backup. And also I'll discuss this change over switches, manual change over switch and what that is for because there was a question about that as well. So this house was built in 1982 and this is the original DB and what we had to do was to separate the backup from this DB and in order to do that we install a surface mounted DB this is not a pre-wired one but I think I uh, I may have bought the breaker separately I can't remember now but it came with the major tech uh, earth leakage I'm not a fan of the major tech stuff uh, products in general because they don't seem to last long. I had a major tech uh, timer. My geezer and the relay always burnt out. But anyway, I, I divert from the original team. So apologies for that. So this is a Schneider earth leakage. Because I had three phase power, these blockouts here are quite big. Because there used to be a CBI three phase with overload protection earth leakage. Because you see here, this is the main switch. And there are three breakers here because it's three phase power. So what happened was when we were installing the solar inverter, the three phase earth leakage exploded. It exploded because at the time the person that was installing it, he wasn't really familiar with three phase power. And anyway, long story short, there was an issue with one of the neutrals. Now, when he put the earth leakage up, it tripped and then he made some changes, it tripped again, he made some changes and then it exploded. Now, at that time when I installed my solar, to replace that exploded CBI, Samite, Samite meaning the way it fits onto your DB, you have Samite and you have DIN rail mount. This is an example of a DIN rail mount. A Samite CBI earth leakage costed like 1200 Rand at that time. So I said, no, I'm not going to spend 1200 Rand. Let's just make it single phase. So what's happening here now is we're just taking one phase from the three phase main switch and it's fed to the entire DB here. Now all the high powered draw uh, loads like the geezers, the stove, the oven, that is not part of the backup power. It's completely independent. So I've got a 40 amp breaker here, which is my inverter supply. That is using a four millimeter square cable, which is a NOS cable here. NOS cable, it's a special cable because it has specialized shielding built into it. So with a NOS cable, you don't need to run it within a conduit. So this is compliant as it stands here. This four millimeter NOS cable is going, is supplying utility power to the inverter. And this is the, the Goodwe meter. And if I open up the DB here, this meter is actually clamped to my, my main power feed. And that is how the inverter determines whether it's exporting it is uh, consuming, it's blending utility power with the solar, right? So this four millimeter square wire cable is traveling here. I have a manual Haga changeover switch here. That is only a safety measure in case there's maintenance or there's something wrong with my inverter and I need to rely on utility power. This is a Schneider earth leakage. I think it has overload protection as well. And these are all DIN rail mounted breakers. And these are all my plugs. I've got three plugs breakers here and I've got three light breakers. So it's all small loads, right? My washing machine, my computer, my internet and all of that. That's all on plugs. And the entire house lights are on the backup as well. Okay, so that is how you separate the backup from your main utility. 
the challenge it comes about is on your neutral bar your neutral bar will have all of them all of the neutrals mixed the electrician has to determine which neutral belongs to which so you cannot swap around neutrals so what i asked my electrician to do as well is install a manual change over switch for loads that i would like to use when it's a nice sunny day but i wouldn't normally use if it's a cloudy day because i don't want to put strain a, a strain on my inverter so under normal circumstances those loads are all being supplied by utility power by escom all the time only in the event of load shedding and it's a really hot day then I've got my 18,000 BTU aircon here and there's my aircon breaker here. It's a 20 amp breaker. So this changeover switch will switch the aircon as well as the swimming pool pump. The swimming pool pump is a 1.1 kilowatt pump. If it's a beautiful sunny day, then I will manually change over here and then it allows me to run my 18,000 BTU aircon as well as my swimming pool so again the only issue with this manual changeover is that i got to switch off my earth leakage when i change over otherwise if i change over and my earth leakage is, is up then because of the neutral conflict it will trip the earth leakage okay but that's a small issue in fact it's actually better to have your earth leakage down during load shedding so when the power returns you're protecting your devices from a power surge as well okay so i hope that is clear if you are planning to build a house then perhaps you want to make a provision for a nice big space for your your utility power as well as your um, your backup power so you don't have to have any cables running on the surface and you don't have to have surface mounted uh, things like this fortunately this is in a scullery so I don't really care about the aesthetics, but uh, depending on where you plan your uh, DB, then you may want to consider that.